Hello everyone, today I'm uh, going to carry out a relative compression test and to do this compression test I'm going to use a picoscope I'm not going to connect any compression gauges I'm only going to use the scope I've got the laptop here and to do that I'm using channel 1 just to show you here this is a 4 channel scope I'm using channel 1 if you follow this wire this cable sorry you'll find that <coughs> I have connected it the negative and you see the positive the blue is connected to the positive so the next thing to do is to click on the software so I can do a battery test I can do a compression test and other tests but what I'm going to do now I want to start with a, comp a relative compression test so I'll click on that so the engine that I'm working on is a four-cylinder engine right so what I just gonna sh I'll go to the engine then I show you what I've done the conditions of doing this test is that the engine should not run so I have disconnected the coil pack okay then the engine is not gonna run you can disconnect your fuel as well if you want but the other thing is you want to make sure that the throttle is fully open before you crank the engine so that's what I'm going to do I'm about to crank the engine then I want you to watch what is gonna happen go on ahead but I'll crank it until the time lapses there on the screen you see the wee bar see that look at that see that bang perfect thank you buzzer you can see that within a few seconds we have the report even if you check over that side we have the report now of what each cylinder is doing sorry for the reflection and you can see then that the cylinders are not doing bad cylinder a is 100 percent cylinder b is 98 percent cylinder c is 100 percent and cylinder d is 93 percent you know i would tolerate these differences if a cylinder's compression is bad and it tells you the cranking speed as well this is a petrol engine 186 rpms you know is is actually good uh, for a petrol engine this is good so that's how you carry a relative compression test within a short space of time it actually tells you what is wrong if there's um, any compression losses it will show you by this bar bar graph here okay you are just using the battery and during compression that's when it tests and it shows you then which one is good and which one is bad I didn't take out any spark plugs I didn't take out anything I didn't connect any compression you know gauge or what it's just quick so if you want to do a relative compression test feel free to use this the picoscope it's one of the best and quickest way you know that in our industry now not even now it's been like that time is money time is money so brilliant no it gives you even here we message all cylinders are above 80 percent engine four cylinder rpm is uh, 186 how many cycles was that that was equivalent to eight cycles you know that six to eight is good so that's how you carry out a relative compression test 